But first tonight, we're working breaking news at 6. A multi-hour standoff with police has just ended in Providence. The Pinpoint News Tracker showing you the area of that scene, Montgomery and Alabama streets in Providence. Eyewitness News reporter Stephen Schuler joins us now live with the breaking details. Stephen? Well, Catherine, we have learned that that suspect is still inside his home here behind me on Alabama Avenue. But police tell us he did surrender after a five-hour standoff. Now, here's what we know so far. rent center crews came to the house just before noon to repossess a couch. Now, they were greeted by two men and got into some type of altercation. They left the house, then returned here where the second-floor tenant slammed the door on them before firing two shots. Now, at that point, police and SWAT crews surrounded the home, learning the armed suspect was holding his eight-year-old son and a pregnant girlfriend hostage. After a few hours of negotiation, that suspect released the two hostages and surrendered. And surrendered. Now, those rent center crew workers were quite shaken. We did talk to one of them exclusively, and here's what he had to say. We're just doing, doing a recovery. We're just picking up our merchandise, and um, suddenly we heard a gunshot, so we just called... Providence Police, and now here we are. There was some men in there telling us to get away from their property just before the gunshot. Now again, that suspect in custody in his home behind us with police after a five-hour uh, standoff. He did surrender. Now those other two men who greeted and caused that altercation are also in police custody. As for that eight-year-old and the woman who we're told is three months pregnant, we're told they're uninjured. They are cooperating with police right now. Obviously, the story developing right before us, and we'll bring you the latest developments coming up tonight. For now, live with the breaking details in Providence, I'm Stephen Schuler, Eyewitness News.